I'm pretty used to creatures that bite, sting, or want to invade my body. But here in the Australian rainforest, the green stuff can be out to get you as well. Check this tree out. The trunk looks as if it's covered in hypodermic needles. They're sharp. And this vine, these are like little shark teeth, ready to inflict pain on the unsuspecting passerby. But the really nasty stuff around here looks a lot more innocent, and I'm going to need this just to get close to it. In fact, this plant is so toxic, even a dried specimen can inflict pain. Almost a hundred years after being picked. <sighs> Whoa. There it is. The Gimpy Gimpy. This rather ordinary and harmless looking plant is actually one of the most painful plants in the world. So before I get any closer, I'm going to kick myself up. Or there could be tears. Right, to business. What makes the Gimpy Gimpy so dangerous is that every part of the plant, with the exception of its roots, are covered with fine, silicon-like hairs. You only need to lightly touch the plant to get stung. The hairs embed themselves in your body, then release a painful toxin and breathing them can cause harsh sneezing fits and nosebleeds. Hence the mask. The first thing you'll feel is a really intense burning sensation. And this grows over the next half an hour, becoming more and more painful. Shortly after this, your joints may ache, and you might get swellings under your armpits. And that can be almost as painful as the original sting. In severe cases, this can lead to shock and even death. And if you don't remove all the hairs, they can keep releasing the torturous toxins for up to a year. Basically, every time you bump the site of infection, the horror begins all over again. And there's no way I want to get it all over my body. But I am prepared to donate one small part to the show. Maybe one finger. Come on, lady. You ready? Oh, my word! You saw that! I only just rubbed my finger over that leaf and... Oh, it got me! It got me! Oh, that feels like it's burning! It really does! Oh, oh give me a minute here! Oh, you all right? oh give me a breather! You all right? Yeah, I'm all right, but that was... Uh... That was... I'd heard what this thing could do. It's truth. I've got to say that uh, part of me didn't believe it. I thought, how much can a tree or a, a shrub hurt? But that hurts. Give me a minute. Oh. 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 I thought I was going to vomit then. Oh, the locals have got a cure, which they say is really brilliant, and I'm afraid I've got to use it and fast. It's one of these. It's a waxing strip that women use to remove hair from their legs. And, uh, oh, come on, Mike, this hurts. I hope this works. In theory, ah, oh, yes. This should stick to the microscopic hairs that have been injected in my fingers and it should pull them out, so... Ah! Right, I think that's got all of them, or at least as many, as I'm gonna get. So, uh, I'm gonna head off to civilization. That's the last time I doubt the power of nature. You know what? Now that is a nettle on steroids. Gimpy Gimpy 1, Mike Nil.